Hello everybody. Uh, this is going to be short and sweet. This is just a, a really quick tip to explain uh, my reasoning for um, recording. When I'm recording, I record in 24-bit as opposed to 16-bit. And uh, I'll show you how to get there. You go up here to Options. You go down to Preferences. And in Preferences, if you come down along here, it is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth option down. Record, Warp and Launch. And basically, you come down to the 24 here, and it could be on 16, you change it to 24. And uh, so I like to record in 24-bit, and the reason for that is I like the headroom that it gives me. Um, you know, like as you process an audio signal, as you process uh, your vocals or your guitar playing or whatever it is, um, you'll be adding filters along here, down at the bottom. You'll be adding compressors, EQs, you'll be, um, you'll be throwing all kinds of things in there. You'll be throwing um, uh, saturators, all of this stuff, which, uh, you know, denigrates the signal bit by bit as it goes down along. So. Um, and also too, there is also the reason of um, to record in 24-bit because by the time it gets to your mastering engineer and after you've done all that with the signal, you want uh, still want that headroom to be there. You want the signal to be fairly intact and not denigrated so far that it is uh, mm, a rough sounding audio signal. So, uh, so I suggest recording at 24-bit. Some people do 16, which is CD quality. I'd rather go for 24-bit, gives that headroom. I know that Dave Pensado, who is the mixing engineer to the stars, he, um, he definitely records in 32-bit. And uh, um, at some point in the future, I might do the same. Uh, in the not too distant future, in fact. But uh, for now, it's the 24-bit. And uh, that, those are my reasons for doing so. So I hope this helps somebody out there who is looking to start recording, mixing and engineering in Ableton Live. It's a great program. Um, I love it. And uh, see you in the next video.